What's up guys, Ruxin34 back with another epic 10 opening. This one is our first ever 2002 10 opening. I told you guys I'd open this at 19,000, but I've changed my mind a little bit. We're going to open this one up now, and we're going to open up this one at 19,000. We're going to open up this Blue Eyes 10, so we're going to save the little bit more, you know, valuable 10 for the 19K, and we're just going to go ahead and open up this 2002 10 right now. Okay, so before we do that, I'll be giving away these four cards. So we have a first edition, Rare, After Genocide. This card was changed to After the Struggle, so it's actually pretty cool. Um, it's basically, you know, they changed the text. So first edition from Le Legacy of Darkness. Limited Removal Reprint from Pharaoh's Servant. Chaos Rider Gustav from Invasion of Chaos. And a first edition, Gravekeeper's Chief. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know what card you want to see pulled from this tin. There are two LOB packs in here, two Metal Raiders, and one Magic Ruler, not Spell Ruler. So pretty cool. This is the original, one of the original six tins. So we're going to set this back here. We're also going to be opening some Battles of Legend Armageddon, because we are still on the hunt for Utopia, and of course a 10k Dragon. So we're going to do that before we get into the tin, and then we're going to open up some epic original Legend of Blue Eyes packs, which are pretty expensive these days, even unlimited. So we have a Danger Jackalope right off the, bo right off the bat. And then the Metal Raiders are cool too. We can pull Summon Skull. It's pretty cool that you get two LLB packs. Oh, there's a uh, Beast O-Lion. So I'm pretty hyped. I think that this should be pretty fun. I didn't want to wait until 19,000 to open one of these tins because I've never opened a 2002 tin. I've opened four of the 2003 tins, but I've not opened any of the 2002 tins until now. So it's going to be pretty epic. So make sure you guys subscribe. We are less than 2,000 subscribers away from the 20K opening, which will be opening all kinds of crazy stuff. I posted it on my story. Make sure you guys check it out there or on Instagram or Twitter. I posted them both there. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I am doing sales on Instagram. Twitter, I'm just tweeting out stuff that I wouldn't. Oh, the Miracle Rupture. Tweeting out stuff that I wouldn't, you know, say anywhere else. Not, I mean, okay. This sounded kind of weird. I don't know. Just kind of inside, you know, behind the scenes, just kind of random stuff that I do every day. Kumar on calling. Nice. So yeah, make sure you follow me there. Also check out my tournament pack two opening. It was pretty insane. We pulled some pretty awesome stuff. So make sure you check it out. It should be up there in the eye. That should have been yesterday's video. If, if all goes according to plan. Fire Flint Lady. There we go. Numeron Network. This is a good box so far. Let's see if we can pull the epic tint acid dragon. I'm hoping we do. I'm not expecting it. Madolce and Jelly. It's not a Chicolates, but it had a Book of Moon as well, so that's pretty nice. You know, if they had a Chicolate Seeker in here, I'd take that. Yeah, but I'm pretty hyped about this. Time Stream, this is a really good. We're getting a lot of good secrets. Pretty hyped about this tin, as I have not opened a 2002 tin. Probably since, I think I opened one back in the day. So maybe I have, but since then, no. Cross Sheep, we are getting all the good cards so far. Other than the big, the biggest cards. All right, Dark Arm the Dragon. Now this really is a good one. Dark Arm the Dragon of Annihilation. We're getting everything. I have so many Battles of Legends cards, guys. I've I've opened so many boxes. It's crazy. It is crazy. But I I just I don't know. The chase for the 10K Dragon is so much fun. And the Utopia, even though we have not pulled that one, we have pulled 10K. And then I bought another 10K and I sent it to PSA. It should be there by today i think book of moon so maybe we'll get another 10. here we go another 10 and we're opening a 10. <laughs> you're on wall okay fossil fusion we're getting all the good secrets minus the invocation and the ced we're getting all the good secrets we are ripping through these packs because we have seen enough we've seen enough to you know of the ultra rares we're just looking for the big hits out of here you know what i'm saying fire flint lady yeah, a uh, Utopia is, is actually like a $300 card now. It's gone down, and the 10K is still staying up there over like 1200 So the Utopia has fallen, but either way, I still would love to pull that card because that card's awesome. Okay, we got a Utopia, the Lightning. Nice. Oh, all right. Here we go. Numeron Calling, okay? That card used to be valuable, and now it's at like, it's at like 70 cents. It's crazy how, how far it's fallen. Medulce Angeli, that's a good card. 
We're getting a lot. We're really getting a lot of good cards in here. This is not bad. Numeral wall. Still gonna lose a lot of money on the. Uh, oh, darkness metal. I haven't pulled this in a while. Um, the boxes are so expensive. They're 90 bucks now or whatever. So pretty pretty tough to break even. Numeron Network. Did we get three of those? Or was that two? Okay, that was that was pretty good. Okay, we pulled a lot of good stuff. Okay, now that we pulled some fire, we didn't pull the 10k. We did pull some good cards. Let's open what you guys are here for. Formerly the 19k special. Now it's just a regular old video. So here we go. We're going to break the seal. This one's also a lot uglier than the blue eyes. So I don't feel as bad as opening it. Just because like the... Not like the Lord of D himself, just the wrapping on this is a little bit more dirty and old looking. Okay. Let's open this thing up. Let's pull something crazy. Maybe our Lord of D promo will look nice. I hope it does. I really hope it does. Because this this card looks really good, not gonna lie. Okay, it's at the bottom. So as you see, original Konami logo packs, guys. Okay, let's pull this out. Let's go like this. How's the back? Oh, wow. Is the back looking good? Is it just me? Okay, is it bent? Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. I think it's bent. Okay, maybe it's maybe it's just warped. It's a little bit weird. Okay, it's not, it's not bent. It's just warped in a weird way. Man, the back is clean, though. I have not seen a... Back that clean. That is super nice. Wait a second, guys. This is reverse. Reverse foil. Check that out. You see, okay, look at, you see how the pattern is going this way in the Numeron Network? It's a reverse foil Lord of D. So it's misprint, you know, I mean, it's not crazy rare, but still really cool to pull out a reverse foil BPT. Wow, I mean, it does give it more value, so that's sweet. And it's in near mint condition, basically. I mean, it's a little weird with, I don't know what's going on there, but there's no, like, crease or anything. So I think that could be flattened out and be, and be good. Wow, we got a reverse foil promo that's near mint, guys. Whoa, this is a good start. This is a really good start. Okay, let's set that back there. Oh, my goodness, we got a reverse foil. 2002 as well. Oh, my goodness. And then here are our packs. Two LOB. Two Metal Raiders and a Magic Ruler. Check that out. Old school, original Konami logo. In the 2003, they had switched it to the red banner. So, wow. Okay, that is it. That's a heck of a start. That's a heck of a start. This video is going good. Okay, we're going to save LOB for last, of course. Then Metal Raiders. Let's go with Magic Ruler first. We want to pull Blue Eyes, Toon Dragon, or Relinquish. Those are the goals. There's also some other great cards, but those would be the picks. Okay, here we go. Magic Ruler. Oh, we got the Crab Turtle, guys. We're also gonna have two chances at. Don't don't forget Petit Moth. Snake Fangs. All oh, these feel so good. Oh my goodness. Peacock. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Wall Shadow. Classic. I just okay. I'm, I'm rewatching the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh while I edit, and it's been good. And I haven't got to this episode yet, but I'm getting there. I'm only I'm like a few episodes away. Cyber Jar. Now that's a rare. That's a that's a good rare you want. Cyber Jar. That's pretty awesome. Let me set that aside. We got Electric Snake, Minar, Flash Assailant, and Turtle Oath. We got the Turtle Oath and the Crab Turtle. Okay, not a bad first pack. Yeah, I I, I just rewatched the uh, first se first couple seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh every once in a while, and they're just so good. I just I love them. They're so like. They make some cheesy jokes, and they just crack me up. And it's like, I know what's coming, and I'm still cracking up. Like, Joe, just Joey is such a weirdo, but he's hilarious. It's just good. I just love you. I just, guys, I love it. I love Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. Cheerful coffin. Here we go. Lady de Fe. Yeah, you guys remember this from our Portuguese Metal Raiders. By the way, Petite Moth, Canyon Moth. Chance at getting the goat. Blue Winged Crown. Yeah, so our old school, old school mascot, Petite Moth, Canyon Moth. New school, Chicolates. So, pretty epic. Lava Battle Guard. He has a little uh, print print dots up there. Okay, can we pull something epic right here, guys? Like a Summon Skull. Come on. Mass Sorcerer. Okay, we got a rare Mass Sorcerer. Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress number one. That looks kind of like light for some reason. So does this one. King of Yami Makai. Look at these cards. Ground Attacker and Leogan. Don't those look... Okay, whoa. Let me find... 
Look, this one's darker than those. See those? Look how light those are. Like, do we get some faded commons here? That's interesting. Okay. So we got some interesting uh, commons. Let me know in the in the comments what you guys think about that. About the the lighter normal monsters. They just look they look more like reprints, to be honest. That's weird. Okay, mass sorcerers are rare. Not a great one. Magician of Faith would have been pretty awesome. Okay. Next pack of Metal Raiders, our last chance from the 2002 tin to pull anything. By the way, it is super hard to pull foils out of tins, so if we don't even pull one, wouldn't be shocked. I hope that doesn't happen, but we did get a reverse foil promo already, so can't really complain. Okay, Musi Musician King. Come on, guys. Hit the like button for luck. Let's do this. Protector of the Throne. We got a Pale Beast. Jurai Gumo. Yeah, this guy's going to be coming up soon in that Paradox Brothers episode. Okay, can we hit, can we hit something good? Come on. Mask of Darkness, pretty good rare. Pretty good rare, but not what we're looking for. He became a Kaminari Attack. That's a good common. I'm going to take that out. Gigatech Wolf. And Sagi, the Dark Clown. Yes. Played by Kaiba. Epic. And then he uses the Crush card on it. Or Crush card on uh, Yugi, I guess. Okay, let's sleep that common up. Let's sleep up this rare Mask of Darkness. Pretty nice card. Get to pull out a trap card from your graveyard. It's basically a Magician of Faith, but... You know, for trap cards. Okay, two packs left, guys. The original, Legend of Blue Eyes. Yeah, original logo. Double original. Let's do this. Like, we could pull a Blue Eyes out of one of these guys. and that, I mean, that would be insane. Even even Unlimited is insane. Okay, let's pack just rip, like, really weirdly. Really weirdly. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay, there we go. All right, our mail. The 13th grave, Irabi. Come on, guys. Two Mouth Dark Ruler, the original twin headed fire dragon, or whatever. Hey, no, no, not twin headed fire dragon. Sorry, that's that's a Pharaoh Servant common. I mean, uh, twin headed thunder dragon. Okay, Two Mouth Dark Ruler, here we go. Final Flame, oh man. Basic Insect, Rain Temperature, Dragon Treasure, and Fire Raru. We are 0 for 4, guys. Are we going to go 0 for 5? It is. And we've done it before out of 10s. It happens. But sometimes we have good luck. So we have one more chance. It is out of the original LOB booster pack. Whew, okay, come on, guys. We need the luck here. We need to hit something. We don't really need to because we did get an awesome Lord of the promo i mean a near mint reverse foil so i'm still excited about that one foil pull though could make this an insane 10 here we go here we go what do i want i want blue eyes i want dark magician i want red eyes i want exodia any of those and then super rares raigeki of course all right here we go forest get the skull servant himself no! we just dropped him he's okay he's okay we dropped the Skull Servant. At least it wasn't first edition. Okay. Green Phantom King. Hitatsumi Giant. Alright, this is our last chance. You guys have to hit the like button and subscribe. For luck. Here we go. Metal Dragon. Oh, it's a bust, guys. It is a bust. Well, I think I paid about 200 bucks for the tin. So, fortunately for us, th this promo is going to be worth more than it would have been otherwise. You know, if it was like light play or something and not uh if it was light play and it was you know not reverse but that's okay we did get an epic lord of d i mean i'm pretty excited about that and even these commons and rares even as unlimited do have a little bit of value because they are originals so that's pretty cool to get those and of course we did pull a bunch of good stuff out of battles of legend and we pulled all kinds of fire all right from battles of legend since we didn't really pull anything out of 10 besides lord of d we did get two book of moon we got three numeron wall we got a utopia of the lightning artifact sanctum o line cross sheep Fireflint Ladies, two of those. We got Fossil Fusion, Danger Jackalope, Miracle Rupture, one of the best cards. Time, Stream, two Medulce and Jelly, Darkness Metal, the Dragon of Dark Steel, Dark Arm, the Dragon of Annihilation, two Numeron Calling, and two Numeron Network. So overall, a pretty good box, even though the values are pretty low at this point, plus the Lord of D, so about 90 bucks plus 200. So we were like, our cost was 200. You guys have always like wanted me to say how much I spend, so I spent 200 bucks overall. Actually, I think I spent 85 on that. I don't know. I spent like 285 total on this. And we probably got back. I don't know. I'll have the value pop up, but I'm guessing this might be worth like 30 bucks. Maybe more. I'm just guessing. 
and then here is probably worth 30 bucks or something. So we lost like 235 bucks, something like that. 200, no, bad math, 225 bucks. So yeah, that's how it goes. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video at least. We got to open some original LOB, Metal Raiders, Magic Ruler, and we got a reverse foil misprint. So that's pretty cool to get that out of a 2002 tin and it be near mint. So I consider it fairly successful video. I know, it's funny to say after how much we lost, but it was fun. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe for future openings. We have, don't forget about this guys, 2002 Blue Eyes. This one's gonna have a foil, I have a good feeling. Maybe that'll be reverse foil. Now that would be valuable. That would be really valuable. So that'd be awesome. Hope you guys did enjoy it. And yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh! Yes. Okay, oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs>